All right. Uh, well, staying in the clean energy realm, one of your favorite stocks right now, energy storage provider Fluence, is soaring today after the company reported excellent quarterly numbers. The stock is actually one of the biggest winners in the whole market today. How are you feeling about the energy storage space and Fluence in particular? Love Fluence. Love, 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 love Fluence. The numbers they reported are fantastic. They're a leader. They're flexing their muscles as the leader. Battery energy storage is really accelerating adoption, especially in Europe. Um, I mean, it's like I said, the, the world had an energy crisis in 2022 and it came to a fork in the road and the world had a choice. Are we going to go back in time and revert to more oil and gas production? Or are we going to go forward in time and accelerate our clean energy transition? And every single government of the world chose the go forward in time route. Every single government, the U.S. had the Inflation Reduction Act. Uh, all over Europe, so much legislation was passed that it's promoting clean energy adoption. China, Japan, India, all of these countries are saying they're you know left or right. They're choosing right. They're choosing go forward in time, go forward in time, go forward in time. So regardless of how you feel about oil, gas, solar, hydrogen, you know the, the political ideologies attached to that, I don't care about any of that. What I care about is, okay – what are the most powerful institutions in the world? Governments. Governments are the most powerful institutions in the world. What are the governments saying? Every single major government of the world is saying we have the energy crisis and we're going to respond by accelerating the clean energy transition. Plain and simple. So you have to side with that trend. I don't see why you would fight that trend. Fighting that trend is fighting the most powerful institutions, organizations, uh, collections of people in the world. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to acknowledge, okay, they've decided they're going to accelerate the clean energy transition and I'm going to invest alongside that. That's a powerful secular mega trend, which will last for years and probably even decades. I mean, I just, you know, the EU just yesterday passed legislature, which is now taxing things in the global trade markets, imports and exports based on their greenhouse gas emissions. So, if anything, the whole clean energy movement is gaining significant momentum at the current moment. What that means to me is more solar deployments, more wind deployments, more investment in hydrogen, more investment in nuclear, restarting of nuclear reactors, more investment into things like nuclear fusion, and at the epicenter of it all, more battery energy storage uh, system develop or deployments. And that's what Fluence's numbers showed me today and, and, and the earnings report and their conference call. Um, th this industry is absolutely on fire because demand is so significant and accelerating so rapidly. Their only challenge is supply related. Can we make enough stuff to deliver on all the demand? That's a great problem to have. If that's your only problem, <laughs> you're sitting on cloud nine. And that's why Fluent Stock is acting the way it is today. So I'm very bullish on energy storage. You know that we've talked about it a lot before. I'm particularly bullish on lithium-ion battery energy storage solutions. I know there are a lot of other chemistries out there uh, which are competing for viable energy storage projects. But we need energy storage today. We don't need energy storage in five years. We, don't need, we will need it in five years and we will need it in ten years. But we also need it today. And the only solutions, the only chemistry that is available today, ready to deploy and be actionable at scale are lithium ion battery energy storage systems. And by the time they get deployed everywhere, then they become just the incumbent. They become what everybody uses. And then that's just what, you know, more and more people will deploy and use. So um, that's why I'm bullish on lithium ion battery energy storage systems. Influence is, is the leader there. They're the unrivaled leader in commercial uh, lithium ion battery energy storage deployments. And I think that's where a lot of the growth is, where a lot of the market is. And I, I'm very bullish on that. And I think that this whole industry is going to grow significantly over the next 10 years. Um, falling interest rates, falling yields and improving economic outlook will obviously all help these stocks in 2023 and 2024. So you get the combination of these secular growth tailwinds with macroeconomic tailwinds and boom, you got a recipe for a stock that, that surges next year. So very bullish on Fluence going into 2023, very bullish on all clean tech and very bullish on energy storage stocks uh, for the next 12 months. Thanks for watching HGI Clips. For the full episode, head on over to our sister channel at Hypergrowth Investing by clicking the link in the description or listen to the podcast on any of your favorite streaming platforms. We make new episodes every Wednesday, so make sure to check it out and subscribe to never miss any of Luke's Hypergrowth Insights.